Hi there, we're the Brownstone Boys. I'm Jordan. And I'm Barry. We're huge fans of Halloween, and today we're teaming up with Lowe's to show you how to make a costume for your house. Yeah, we think the best part of Halloween is dressing up, and it's time your house gets in on the fun. Okay, have you ever looked at a house and thought you saw a pair of eyes or a mouth? Almost like a person. We're gonna embrace that and show you some creative costume ideas that fit each home and style perfectly. But we'll warn you, once you see it on a home, there's no going back. You'll start coming up with costume ideas for every house you see. We're gonna show you some ways that you can use Everyday Lowe's products to make your own house costume. But first, here's a couple design ideas to get your creativity flowing. We'll start with a style that we know oh so well, a classic brownstone. The tall multi-level style makes me immediately think robot. What if we did the two upper windows for eyes and the three middle windows for a mouth? Oh, the upper dormers are perfect for antennas. And the front door and the lower windows for all the robot instruments. This is the perfect Halloween costume for this house. This house is perfect for a costume. Lots of angles and an upper balcony to work with. Two upper peaks become ears. Windows for eyes. Oh, add a nose, whiskers, and teeth to the balcony. Two little paws on the lower windows and the icing on the cake, a tail on the garage. And this cat costume is complete. <coughs> the garage is a simple area where you can get super creative. Let's go with a friendly monster. We'll use the window for a giant eye and a big goofy grin on the garage door. Let's add a tongue on the driveway. And top it all off with some colorful spikes on the roof line. Ooh, too cute. Now that we've given you some inspiration, it's time that we show you how it's done in real life. We're gonna decorate this cute Cape Cod style home behind us. It has a couple special features that really jump out and will be perfect for us to decorate. So we're gonna dress up this house as a playful purple monster, but we're not gonna go for scary, although you could go all out creep if you really want to. We're going for more of a fun, friendly monster vibe. Yeah, we don't wanna scare all the kids in the neighborhood. This house has two upper windows where we can put our monster eyes, a nice front porch to create our mouth, and a great roof line to add some monster fur. We recommend taking a step back and looking at your house from a vantage point where your neighbors might see it, around the sidewalk or even the street. This will help you determine the scale and the size of your monster. First, you'll need to measure the areas of your house you're gonna decorate so you'll know how much material you'll need. The materials you use to create each element of your costume is totally up to you and will vary based on your costume design and home style. This is an area where you can get really creative, but keep in mind that everything should be weather resistant. For ours, we're using sheets of Luan, some three-quarter inch plywood, faux turf grass, string lights, and some paint. All the products we're using are linked in the description below. So let's start up top with the eyes. Generally speaking, in most homes, the windows work best for eyes. Yep, when you have dormers like these, it accentuates and exaggerates the look even more because it's raised up off the house. These will work perfectly. We're using a jigsaw to cut the shape of our eyes from sheets of Luan. It's a great lightweight option. Then, we're creating the details using exterior paint and some turf grass that we've spray painted purple for additional texture. We're resting the eyes on the edge of the roof and holding in place with heavy duty Velcro. Your monster installation method will vary depending on your materials and house exterior. This entryway is the perfect place for our monster mouth. We're thinking some teeth and a tongue. For our upper teeth, we're using the same Luan material as for the eyes. For the lower teeth, we're using three quarter inch plywood because it's more rigid and will allow them to be freestanding. For the tongue, more turf, but painting it in a bright pink color. We're attaching it to the front of the entryway instead of flat against the door, so it has a bit more depth when you're looking at it from the street. Now that we have the main elements of our monster face, we're gonna add some faux monster fur to really complete the look. And to do that, we're using some of the turf material. It's lightweight, weatherproof, and it's easy to cut using heavy duty scissors or utility knife. We're mixing up the shape and size of our fur. Using two shades of paint allows us to add some shadowing, which will make the elements really pop. We're attaching our fur pieces onto string lights using wire, and then attaching to the gutter using zip ties. These lights are color changing, so you have a variety of colors. Once the sun goes down, our creation will come to life. It's alive! One afternoon of work and this house was transformed into a playful purple monster the entire neighborhood could enjoy. We hope this inspires you to look at your home in a whole new way this Halloween season. 
and have a bit of fun bringing it to life. Leave us a comment below and let us know what you think of our monster house. And don't forget to subscribe to Lowe's YouTube channel. Thanks everyone. Happy, Happy Halloween! Halloween!